welcome back to the channel on this video there he is i have my good friend joey along with us how are you doing joey i'm doing good mark good to see you yeah thank you for having me on here yeah it's great to have you on and we're going to talk about something that we didn't expect first of all we expected joey to go for his first ride on a an e-bike how long has it been joy since you've been on a bike i haven't been on a bike in about 28 years 28 years 28 okay. years and you've never ridden an electric bike that is correct this would have been my first time <laughs> but we're going to talk about why joey is not going to ride the bike and joey let's let everybody know how tall you are sure i'm about five three Five foot five, three. Five foot three and a half, yeah. Okay, and I'm five foot nine, which is not a giant, but that's definitely taller than you, right? Yes. So, it is. <laughs> and what happened was. What happened was I went to go on and take a seat on this beautiful looking bike, and I found out that I really couldn't touch some of the pedals very well. And it would have been a very shaky and very scary ride had I taken the plunge and gone down the street. So let's talk about what we're riding here. So we are riding that bike right there. It's the Rad Rover. And we have right here the seat height adjustment right there. I've got the seat, as you can see there, all the way down and it's still not enough. So our talk today is about why are all the e-bikes seeming to be, not all of them, I shouldn't say all of them, but majority of them, too tall. You know, they're, too, they're made for taller riders. We need to make more shorter rider bikes. And I know this is not a step through and that would be a better way to go because you could step into it and then get on the seat. But even at that, even when Joey got on the bike, he couldn't get, he had one foot down, but he was really having a struggle to get the pedals to, and he didn't feel comfortable, which I don't blame him for that. Um, especially on your first ever ride on an electric bike yeah you know i get it the world it's a tall world you know it's meant for tall people but i'm wondering if maybe people like me should look into gain an e-bike for kids or surely there must be a company that does do you know shorter seats because i can't be the only adult that you know has this issue but i'm curious to see what if other people have encountered this as well yeah so when it comes to motorcycles street bikes a lot of times the seat is around 30 inches or less right mm -hmm. so 28 20 uh, around 28 inches um, we need to have bikes uh, electric bikes that we pedal a little bit uh, more convenient for shorter riders exactly and um that's a disappointing uh, situation that we have here because oh, we joey really wanted to go <laughs> but he's not going to feel comfortable and i don't want him to feel uh, you know, um, uncomfortable riding because we don't want to have any accidents. No, here, we got to so. play it safe. We always got to play it safe. Um, so, one of these days, though. So, we got to look out for a different bike for Joey that's a little bit. On the well, a little bit more <laughs> shorter, a rider friendly. Yeah, those who are a little vertically challenged. Yes. I mean, otherwise, Joey, you may be uh, down to just getting a scooter, right? I might be, which I'm looking into it. We'll have to try that. But Mark, yeah, this is a beautiful bike and, you know, it has all these great features and I was looking forward to trying it, but someday we'll find a bike for me to ride. Yeah, the other bikes that I have, I just don't want Joey to be his first ride on a bike being the Graffiti or the Grizzly <laughs> and going uh, arse over tea kettle. Yeah. We don't want that. No, we're not going to fly like E.T. So, um. But no, you know, it's it's a good experience and it's a good topic to bring up because I know the world is full of wonderful short people like me. And the question is, what kind of bikes are right for us? And I want to hear suggestions. If you have a bike that would fit someone who's short, I'm very curious. Yeah, I think I think the the thing I would suggest, Joey, uh, would be a step through bike. So okay. that means you have no bar here. Oh, and yes. You, you okay. can kind of straddle it yes, and then yeah. hop on the back. But even still, even if you could have done that on this bike, the seat, though, when you were on there to ride, seemed to be a little too tall. A couple inches probably just too a much. Little, yeah, just... And I don't know what the minimum seat level is, what that is. I didn't measure it or anything. What What's the minimum seat level for this? But I'm he curious, needs a yeah. couple more inches shorter. Um, so, well... 
we'll have to work on that, Joey, and we'll get you out there at some Definitely point. Definitely, some hopefully. point. But thanks for having me, Mark, and this is a, a great conversation to have with folks about. Yeah, I, this was, right? uh, you know, we were looking forward to this ride, but I'm glad that we've, uh, we found out that, you know, even a, a rider five foot three, and let's face it, a lot of uh, women are going to be uh, shorter than men. Very so true. Um, they're going to have troubles too. So let's get bikes that, that fit uh, the shorter riders. That's all I let's can do say. Let's do that. Yeah. Well, Joey, thanks for coming on. Thank you, Mark. Too Happy bad New we Year couldn't to get you. you a ride. Oh, but... well, at least we got to talk about something important and celebrate the New Year coming up. So, yeah. All right, Joey, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having and me. Be safe, thank everybody. Thank you for tuning in today. And that's going to do it for this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have any comments on this or any other videos, and maybe you've got some uh, comments about uh, uh, shorter riders and uh, the situation that we have here today. Uh, uh, maybe you can leave a comment in the comments below. So once again, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Joey. Thank you. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next video. Be safe.